Hi, this is Malan Shalvi. In this episode, I'll show you how to create this effect in LumaFusion. In this tutorial, we are going to expand and improve on the workflow covered in my previous tutorial about text displacement. If you haven't watched it yet, I recommend you do so. It will help you understand the theory behind the workflow that we'll be implementing in this episode. We start with a new LumaFusion project already containing a video of flames placed in the timeline. As the first step, we are going to use the flames to displace the text so it looks like it is on fire. Add a title above the video of the flames. Expand it so it has the same duration as the video below it. Edit the title, tap on the Title tab and write a text of your choice. Keep it short for better results. Choose a font that is bold and has round edges. I'm using Arial Round MT Bold. Still in the Title tab, position and resize the text so it is in the path of the flames as shown. The text should take about two-thirds of the width of the screen. The face color of the text should be white with 100% opacity. The edge color should be white as well and also with 100% opacity. The edge width should be set to zero. Make sure that the text doesn't have a shadow. Exit back to the timeline. Move the title to the main track so it is first in the timeline. Clone the title 11 times, placing the clone titles in the main track one after the other so now you have 12 identical copies of the same title. Edit the second title in the timeline. Tap on the Title tab, if you are not already there, and change the edge width from 0 to 1. Exit back to the timeline. One after the other, edit the remaining 10 titles, increasing the value of edge width by 1 when compared to the value of the setting in the previous title. This is how it looks so far. Now, let's create a mask that defines how the flames will affect and displace the text. Place the video of the flames right above the last title. And edit it. Change the blend mode from Normal to Stencil Luma. Tap on the Colors and Effects tab, select the Palette section and add the original preset. Set the brightness to minus 0.68. Adjust the preset settings as shown so just a few parts of the text are visible. Exit back to the timeline. Clone the video of the flames and place it above the second title as shown. Adjust the brightness to the point where most parts of the text show, but not all of them. In my case, 
I've set the brightness to minus 0.04. Exit back to the timeline. Clone the copy of the video that you just edited and place it on top of the third title. Edit the video that you just cloned. Decrease the brightness by 0.06 to minus 0.10. Exit back to the timeline. Clip cloning and decreasing brightness by 0.06 for every newly cloned video until all titles are covered except the first one. This is how it looks so far. Export the project. Now add the video that you just exported to the project and place it on the third track above the existing clips. Cut the video that you just added using the existing clips as a reference. Stack the first six videos that you've just cut on top of each other as shown. Next, move the remaining six videos to a separate stack, as shown. Now, let's start blending the videos. Change the blend mode of all the videos in both stacks to screen. This is how the first stack looks now. And this is how the second one looks. Delete all clips in the timeline besides the two stacks of blended videos. Export the project. Create a new LumaFusion project and add the video that you just exported. Cut the video exactly in half. Place the video on the right side of the cut, just above the other video. Edit the video that you just moved and change the blend mode to screen to complete the blending. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks now. We are done with the mask. At this point, you can already see how the fluctuations in the text correspond to the motion of the flames. Export the project. Now, let's complete the text displacement by adding the flames that match to the motion of the text in the mask. Create a new LumaFusion project. This project already contains the original video of the flames and the video containing the text that you just exported. Place the video containing the text just above the video of the flames. Edit the video containing the text. Change the blend mode to Stencil Luma. Exit back to the timeline. 
this is how it looks now. Export the project and we are done creating the text displacement. Now, let's see how it can be used. We start with a new project already containing a background video, and the video containing the text displacement. Move the clip containing the text displacement just above the background video. Edit the clip. Add the dark Luma key preset to remove the black background. Adjust the settings as shown. Notice that you may need to add a bit of erosion distance to avoid seeing a dark contour around the text. Resize and reposition as needed. Add the original preset and adjust colors so the text looks natural. Optionally, decrease the opacity by just a bit, 93% or so. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks now. Here is an additional example using the method explained in my reflection tutorial. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.